What is going on budget gang? Today we have a 2018 BMW 330 XI. And this is the updated version of the 2015 that I did. So let's see. Is those seats an improvement or what? <laughs> right here is your BMW key fob. Should have wrote BMW on the back. It's good though, it's good, it's good. So let's hop right into this sticker price right here. So 2018 BMW 330 XI or iX Drive, whatever one you want to call it. With all the bells and whistles, this one is going to bring you to $49,030. It's a hefty penny for, you know, a smaller car like this. But I guess if you want luxury, this is what you're going to pay. So 23 in the city, 33 on the highway, 27 miles per gallon combined. So let's take a look around it real quick. You see the parking sensors and the... Um, the rear bumper back here you got the x drive badging 330i very nice and clean well the car is not clean because it's a little bit dirty but it's a clean design let me say that so you got the bmw wheels right here very nice i always like the bmw wheels i think they got some of the best wheels out like stock wheels You do got the LED right here in a, in a integrated in the mirror right here. Nice, nice car. I don't know about fifty thousand dollars nice or forty nine thousand dollars nice or whatnot, but to each his own. Pretty sure if it if it's my money, I'm not buying this just because I'll show you in a second. You you'll see once I get into the to the the details or whatnot. I mean to me. $49,000, $50,000, you can find, there's, there's much better options out there. That's just my opinion, but let's get into it and see what it is all about. Oh, let me get y'all this exhaust note real quick. LEDs in the rear turn, I mean in the rear lights back here. Let's take y'all underneath the hood and look at the headlights up front. See BMW got the two times and let you know that it's open. You ain't even got to do nothing to it. As you can see, you got the LED lights and the fog lights. Not just the headlights is LEDs, but the fog lights as well. right there twin twin power turbo right there i think this is a two liter four cylinder engine it's on the sticker i'm gonna i'm gonna reconfirm for you guys but uh it is putting out 248 horsepower and yeah, it is a 2.0 liter and it's an inline four cylinder as well so nice little pep 248 horsepower 258 foot pounds of torque gonna go ahead and shut that up just like that and we're gonna go ahead and hop in the inside it does have the sunroof oh let me turn it off real quick to see if it uh if it does what all the other bmw do does with the uh with the unlock button and everything let's see so when you hit the unlock button maybe that's oh okay so the windows do let down on this one as well and the sunroof does open see and just like that you hit the lock button and then you hold it and it's supposed to it's supposed to zip back up but some of them some of the models they just go down they don't go back up so let's see let's try it again so all oh, the sunroof wasn't all the way open either so let's see 
I guess not. All right, we ain't gonna spend too much time on that, but uh, since we back here, we'll just zip them up when we get in there. But right here, you got your all-weather floor liner mats right here, courtesy of BMW. <laughs> you don't have a spare here. As you know, BMW's got run flat tires, so, or you can just call their assistance and uh, they'll send someone out to come save you. So there you go. But the windows do let down, they just don't go back up. There's certain models that do that do both uh, up and down. Some of them just go up. I mean, some of them just go down. But start this back up while we sit in it. Zip these windows up. They are automatic up and down the fronts and the backs as well. So I don't know what is it talking about. Some guidance to Michigan. I'm not going to no Michigan. Nothing. So. We're going to go ahead and stop that now. Stop that nonsense. And turn this air down some. And typical BMW gauges, but they're like updated now. So, as you can see. Now, I do like this right here. You got the uh, red, boat, red, le red leather stitching or piping, whichever one you guys want to call it. That's nice. You got a little storage right here. Typical door buttons and everything. Nice soft touch materials on this door. Open that up for y'all real quick. You got the, the wood right here, the laminated wood it looked like. Speaker right there, tweeter up there, soft touch. Even this is soft touch down here. Yeah, that's soft touch too. That feels good. But I mean this is this right here, it's it's a nice vehicle, don't get me wrong. It's just not my style. Like I don't I don't feel like I'm sitting in a fifty thousand dollar vehicle, honestly. I mean some of y'all might beg to differ, but I just I just don't feel like I'm sitting in a $50,000 vehicle at all. Like, that's, it's just not enough. I just see buttons when I'm sitting in here. Just look. I just see buttons. I don't see, like, luxury materials for $50,000. I just see buttons, 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 buttons. Yeah, you got the nice screen right there. I'm not sure about the Apple CarPlay Android Auto, as I see it plenty of other times. Um, you do got the paddle shifters right here. I mean... To those of you guys that like it, I'm not gonna bash it, but if it's my fifty thousand dollars, forty nine thousand and some change, I'm not I'm not spending it on here at all. You got the vanity mirror with the light, and I was never really a BMW fan, but I mean I, I'm I'm understanding the three series is not something that you show somebody that's not a BMW fan because it's it's not it's not that impressive really honestly. Um, it's nice. I mean these seats are a big they they still kind of hard but they they're a better um a better upgrade to that 2015 that i did uh, they are they are softer a lot softer yeah they they are a lot plush as well too um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments i mean i'm not bashing bmw or anything like that i mean i'm just it's like apple at this point like they're going based off a of name just like apple and these new iphones to me those are the same iphones they're just reskinning them saying oh this is something new and same thing there it is again and people gonna buy it just because it's apple not me i don't buy it just because it's this certain brand i i I'm, i pledge allegiance to the hotness like flossy carter say <laughs> i love that dude shouts out to flossy watch that dude a lot but yeah i pledge allegiance to the hotness man and this this right here um i mean some of y'all like it it's, it's y'all style it's just not my style you do got the sunroof up there headliner all of that it's it's, it's a nice car forty nine thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars nice nah but you do got sport mode right here we put it in sport your little vehicle drives up red the display and the gauges turn red uh, or they don't turn red, they're automatically red. You put it in, uh, what I got in there, Eco. And you show your charge and all of that stuff. Different modes like that. You got the uh, comfort mode right there. That's your everyday at a car right there. When it's in Eco, it lights up blue. And there you go. You got your glove box right there, nice and little. Dash is soft touch, stitched, as it should be. Um center center console right here if i can get it open there you go you just pull it up usb right there with the little mat 
You got your little dial right here that you can zoom in and zoom out, different things like that. There you go for you guys to say the world is flat. <laughs> there you go. Zoom in. It's, it's pretty simple and easy to use once you get used to it. Shows you all about your vehicle, the degrees and everything. It's not no 79 degrees out here though. Yeah, the car say 92. Y'all tripping. Um, notifications, different things like that. I'm gonna get in the back seat real quick. You can do split screen view where you got your maps up and then your other apps and different things like that. I'm gonna get in the back seat real quick and show y'all how the back seat leg room and everything is. So that stitching is also back here on these seats. Now these seats are, like I said, they are definitely an upgrade compared to that 2015 three series I did. All right, leg room is a little bit cramped. I can't move and I'm not even tall. I'm 5'8 on my good day so there you go right there no room in there to even put my hand through but there you go vents back here there it is it's, it's a bmw i guess this is like a starter bmw the three series i would guess but to me honestly like i said i said it plenty of other times fifty thousand dollars Nah, I don't know what y'all smoking for 50, but uh, maybe to me, 35, 40, you got yourself a deal. But 50, nah, you can keep it for 50. But that's my opinion. You also got a heated steering wheel hidden right there. See, for 50, I expect this to even be a powered, you know, I shouldn't have to do nothing manual for $50,000. $50,000, you know, it better come with the works. So you just put it in drive like this right here. Oh, you got to unlock it first. Hold that little button. Put it in drive. Just like that. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys in the next. Thank you for watching. See ya.